Good evening, ladies. We have the next dog with hat right here. And he just wants to remind you that you only need one meme coin to retire your entire bloodline. So let's get di let's dive straight into this meme coin masterclass. Good evening, ladies. It only takes one meme coin to retire your entire bloodline for generations. Uh, a lot of people will tell you, you're not gonna be that person who's gonna find that meme coin. That's a one in a million people who are able to make a thousand X. That's never gonna be you. And personally, I would beg to differ. I would, like people say, it's just complete luck. I think there is actually a lot of skill. There are, obviously is a lot of luck to it as well, but there's definitely ways in which you can increase your luck surface area when it comes to investing in and trading memes. Now, do I have any credibility in this? Yeah, you can hop into my free Telegram group in linked in the description. That's free, pet plenty of people, few people, a lot of people in there have made a lot of money and also some even life-changing money. Personally, I've already hit 10,000 X on a couple of coins. I've hit a couple of hundred Xs as well. Um, now, did I play all those coins perfectly and uh, am I now retired with multi-millions multi, multi in meme coins? No, of course not. Like I obviously took a lot of profits on the way. I didn't play it perfectly. I didn't size up on them. However, you know, I still made some nice profits on them. So, you know, in today's video, I want to, to teach you and tell you everything I know about investing in and finding these meme coins before they go absolutely crazy and what you can look out for to identify what has a lot of potential. So do you have to go for 10,000 X on every single meme coin that you buy or a thousand X? Like realistically to be able to hit a thousand X, the meme coin has to go to hundreds of millions, if not billions in market cap, or you have to be one of the first 20 people in that meme coin. If it only gets to like, you know, tens of millions, you need to be one of the first few people in there. So going for these like really, really outsized returns is obviously much more difficult and obviously a lot more aren't gonna make it, but you can still get 10Xs, 50Xs, 2Xs, like 2Xs every week and you're you're absolutely golden and you're doing well. There's obviously different strategies and different types of coins that you're gonna need to be going for. At the moment, like personally, I've been saying for a while that I think we're in this chop now, for, probably potentially for the entire of the summer, like who knows, short term, I'm not too convinced of any which direction, but sometimes that's a really good place to be trading meme coins because people get bored. Bitcoin isn't going parabolic, ETH isn't going parabolic, Solana isn't going parabolic. So, you know, people get a bit complacent and sometimes, like this has happened a lot, especially during the summer, there's some new thing that pops off. Like before it was DeFi summer, last summer it was all the airdrop farming on Solana, even meme coins. It doesn't even happen to be in summer or NFT summer that happened a couple of years ago. It doesn't have to be summer, but a lot of the time they're in these kind of quieter periods, there's something new that pops off. And who knows, it might be a meme coin, but it might not, it might be something entirely different. But if it is a meme coin, hopefully this video will help you identify that one meme coin that is gonna go absolutely parabolic during this summer. Now, like meme coin seasons, they come and go. The last, the first meme coin season of this cycle was Pepe, and that was deep, deep, deep in the bear market. There wasn't that many people left in crypto, and there wasn't that much capital around. But for the few people that were left, all of them piled all their money into Pepe, and Pepe went to from basically nothing to a few hundred million, if not like a billion. I think I actually went over a billion within the space of like a month or two months. So it's absolutely crazy. And with that, led a huge meme coin season on Ethereum. So there was, you know, you have to be aware, like the best time to trade meme coins is during one of these crazy parabolic meme coin seasons. And these crazy parabolic meme coin seasons are often led by one particular coin. So Pepe was the first one of this cycle. Then there was Bonk, which kind of led its own meme coin season on Solana, kind of started Solana's first ever meme coin season, which is kind of crazy to think about. That was only like, you know, just over, just less than a year ago. And now Solana meme coins is like the only thing people are really paying attention to in crypto at the moment. And then obviously there was the whiff meme coin mania as well. So there's been like three seasons of meme coins right now. I think we're probably towards the end of a meme coin season, but potentially over summer, there could be a new meme coin popping off or the Solana memes will still be traded because people are a bit bored. 
you do have to be aware to maybe take less bets on memes when things are going down in price. Bitcoin, Ethereum are crashing if Bitcoin drops below, you know, 65K. Probably not the best time to be trading memes at that particular point. But, you know, when things are going absolutely crazy, when there's Solana's breaking all-time highs, that's potentially a good time to be really focused in on, locked in on uh, trading these meme coins. So you're going to be you're going to be ready for those seasons when they do come so here you can see the volume on solana and the solana dexes and as you can see there was like a crazy crazy period in april where things were just going absolutely wild and right now we're having a, a bit more of a, a lull potentially like not completely zero or anything but you know we're taking a bit of a, a cool down and a bit of a breather and i personally the way my portfolio is structured i have my bets my long-term bets that i'm holding for the cycle I'm not trading in and out of them too much. I'm not really adding or subtracting or doing anything fancy with that. I'm just leaving that and, you know, I've kind of made my bed with that and that's 90, 95% of my portfolio and then with the remaining 5 or 10%, I'm having a bit of fun. I'm speculating on memes just to keep me occupied and potentially turn that 5% into 20% of my portfolio or something like that or even in a really... Uh, nah, <laughs> I was going to say double my portfolio but i think that's a little bit optimistic but who knows that can that could definitely happen if you hit the right mean coin and you diamond hand it absolutely it could happen first i'm just going to tell you my favorite strategies when it comes to mean coins and then i'm just going to list off a load of quick tips when it comes to finding good meme coins so my favorite strategy when it comes to mean coins is going for mean coins that are still quite low market cap buying like making a lot of bets in these really small market cap meme coins, I usually just put in one Solana in my Trojan bot, in my Telegram bot. So if I put in one Solana, it's easy to track how much in profit or loss I am because all of the bets I make are one Solana. And type of coins that I like to go for generally, I don't want to be monitoring them every single day. So I generally want to go for coins that have huge potential upside and, you know, might not do anything so like maybe 50 to 80 percent of them don't go anywhere or go down but a few of them can produce like have already done like 10 20x or whatever but have the potential to go a lot lot higher so there there is other strategies where you if there's like a trending thing on twitter of the day or there's a, a trending meme an image or something like that or there's a meme coin popping off and someone makes a derivative of that meme coin so there are other meme coins that are just gonna last one or two days so for an example if whiff is popping off dog with hat let's say as an example people are gonna make cat with hat and if you buy that on its first day and sell it on the second day you can make a nice little multiple but to do that strategy you're obviously gonna to have to be on your phone all day checking is this getting a lot of traction are people talking about this a lot and you have to be ready to sell it i kind of prefer to you know, buy something that has huge upside potential, forget about it and have a load of those small, small bets and some of them will massively make up for the losses on the rest. So when you do see a meme coin on Twitter or on Telegram or someone's told you about it or you found it yourself, you've got to ask yourself, is this a long-term hold or a short-term flip? It, will this, like what we're doing here when we're trading meme coins is that we're trading attention and more specifically, we're trading future attention. So if you if this coin is a long-term hold, does it, will it have attention in the future? Will it have more attention than it does now in the future? Will this meme have more attention in the future? Will this phrase that people have started using, like retardio or something, are people is that really going to stick on crypto Twitter? Or is that going to go nowhere? Or this new Iggy Azalea coin, is she going to continue promoting that coin for the next few months? Or... Is it going to be a Hulk Hogan and he's just going to delete all his tweets about it and leave forever? So you kind of have to come up with your own decisions on whether you think this is a long-term hold. Like another example of trading memes that have future attention. This is something I like to do. Like one of my uh, theories for a long time now, before any of this popped off, was that there's going to be a meme coin for every celebrity, every product, every popular meme, every popular sports team every popular country all of this i said this ages and ages ago and this is really playing out now so there's country coins and obviously the country coins have future attention because the euro 2024 football championship is happening in a couple of weeks so whoever wins that maybe the coin is going to do well people are speculating on that 
personally, I bought Mbappe, which is, he's like one of the best footballers in the world at the moment. Kylian Mbappe, so I bought that coin when it was really low, because I saw it, and now it's went 20x or whatever. But I think it can go a lot further, because, you know, it's still only like a million dollar market cap, but he's the most famous footballer, or will be the most famous footballer on the planet. Like, he's probably number three after Ronaldo and Messi. So that's an example of something that ha will have future attention and like I don't have to monitor it every single day and there's a narrative for it in the future and you know it's someone famous so it could do well and I was in at a low market cap. Another example of a meme coin that I bought recently that's done well is the phrase lock in. Now that's a phrase loads of people have been using. I'm going to lock in. I'm going to lock in for the summer. I'm going to really focus and lock in on crypto for this bull cycle. And even Roaring Kitty used that meme of locking in when he came back to Twitter to announce that he was going all in on GME again. So that's like a phrase that I think could be, like it is a phrase that has already been used for a long time, but it's a phrase that could potentially become more and more popular over the course of the next year. So this is an idea. And it also has some influencers who are backing it and promoting it, like Vitamo and Bishara, there are two guys I follow that are really into this coin. So when it has good influencers behind it, that's another good thing you'd wanna look out for. So basically those two examples are meme coins that I think have really, really high upside potential and don't have to monitor and monitor them every single day. But you might be the kind of person that likes to get in and out of stuff and trading stuff. And I do that a bit as well. The nice thing about meme coins is the charts are usually very very obvious it's quite easy to see where there's probably a nice place to take some profits probably a pl nice place to take some uh to buy more looking for an entry on them they're quite obvious if you know like the very basics of technical analysis so you would do that like you would look at the charts on bird eye or dex screener or dex tools whichever one is your favorite so where do you actually find these memes like where do you actually get these ideas so i Primary, primarily use Twitter. I might also sometimes go on BirdEye and see what's trending on the last 24 hours, but generally I just go on Twitter and if there's a phrase pop, popping off or if there's a particular image that people are talking about or there's a news story that is getting a lot of attention and potentially will get a lot of attention in the future, yeah, I generally, and you should do this as well, you should generally think, is there a coin for this or could there be a coin for this? would a coin for this have a lot of attention over the next month or something so if you're able to think of that then you're able to look on whatever on jupiter or on bird eye and see if there is a coin for that obviously you're going to check if it's not a rogue you're going to check it on rogue checker and you're going to check the distribution and you're going to check if they have a twitter you're going to check if they have a telegram like obviously it's better if they have a website telegram Twitter, it means they put a bit of effort into it and they're likely to continue posting about it on their Twitter, on their socials and are interacting with the community. That's obviously a big bonus. It's not 100% necessary, but it definitely does help. And if they're making really funny content, obviously that really does help. So if if the uh, the coin, the Twitter made by the, the team who made the coin, if they're making really, really funny memes, that does help, but it's not the be all and end, end all. Like we saw Stan, like, makes the funniest content, makes really, like, puts so much effort into making really good content. But because, like, that Stanley Cup meme, the Stanley Cup, that was, like, a trending viral thing for, like, a month or something when everyone wanted a Stanley Cup. <sighs> but now, like, yeah, Stanley Cups are probably still kind of cool, but they're not, like, the most trending thing anymore. Like, it's not really in the news cycle anymore. So that's, you kind of want, want your meme coin to hit as many of these points as possible have a trending product that is going to continue to be trending like another example is zin that's those little pouches the tobacco pouches that you put in your gums people are addicted to them and it's becoming a zoomer meta thing so you know that's probably going to continue having an attention as far as a product goes for the next year or something and i actually have no idea if the socials if they're making funny content i actually don't know but uh you know it's a popular product that will stay popular. So you kind of want as many of those as you can, like all those bullet points being hit. So not just like news topics, not just like your own ideas, like you come up with your own ideas of what could be a popular meme coin. Like me personally, like I said, I always thought footballers and celebrities, there's gonna be meme coins for them themselves. So I was 
like when I saw Mbappe or I saw like any of these kind of famous people or famous things or trendy things, it was easy for me to buy that coin because I already had that thesis. But you can you, you don't have to come up with your own thesis. A lot of the time, if you're just following the right accounts on Twitter, you can really, really smash it. Now, where do you find the right accounts to be following? I Just for this video, I made a, a list of on Twitter. Uh, I made a Twitter list, so if you go to my profile, you can see the list that I've created. I made one for memes. I'm going to add more people into it, but you can go onto that, and then you can look at all these influencers and the meme coins that they're talking about. And that will give you some ideas of potential memes that you can invest in. The other place you can find memes, of course, is in Telegram. So you want to be part of a good Telegram group. You can join mine in the description. It's starting to get a bit big. So eventually I will have to make it a private one as well. But at the moment, there's still room in it. It's not too noisy just yet. But everyone in there is sharing ideas and we've become a really nice community and we're all friends in there. So if you're a scumbag coming in and trying to dump on us, like I'm just going to kick you. Um... But yeah, that's another place. You don't have to join mine. You can find your own. But that's another place that you can talk to people and see their ideas and they'll share you what memes they're buying or whatever. Meta that's popping off now is the celebrity coin meta. And we saw Iggy Azalea. I actually put that into my Telegram at one and a half million dollar market cap before she even released that it was her coin. People were speculating that this might be her coin. And that hit 200 million. And unfortunately, I was like... I think I was just about to go to bed and I wasn't sure, but I obviously at that time it had such upside, huge upside potential and I faded it. So like, obviously I make a lot of mistakes in fading that one when I went from 1 million to 200 million it would have been like, I could have just put in one soul and made it, you know, whatever that is, 10 grand, <laughs> but you know, you can't win them all. This celebrity meta, most of the celebs haven't a clue what they're doing, but actually Iggy Azalea, She's actually a pretty hard-working woman, so she's actually trying to make this coin a success. Uh, even Andrew Tate has come really onto Solana, which is just crazy. All these huge, huge celebrities are coming onto Solana and making Solana coins. Like, if you're not bullish on Solana, still, uh, uh, you can't be helped at this point. Like, <laughs> But uh, yeah, Andrew Tate coins going crazy as well. That was mentioned in my group chat a bit as well. But with these celebrity coins, you just have to be really, really careful. You have to make sure that they're the type of celebrity that you can trust that's not an absolute clown and that doesn't have a track record of scamming people. Um, but yeah, that's obviously a bit harder to do. But, you know, there's going to be these new metas. And generally, when it comes to a new meta, the best strategy is just to buy the winner rather than buying any derivatives or... Yeah, like derivatives, generally, like you can get a nice quick flip on them, but usually... Even if there's less upside, buying the winner of a particular new meta, even if it's gone up a lot, is the best strategy. Now, if you're, if it's pumped so much, maybe don't FOMO in a lot, but you know, be a bit more, be a bit responsible. But the actual best risk to reward, if you're able to get in and get out at the right time, is to always buy the leader of a new meta. Now, when it comes to sizing in these meme coins. Like I kind of told you my strategy, I like to buy a very, very small amount into a lot of coins. Like every couple of days I'll, or even a multiple times a day, I'll be throwing in the Solana and all these new memes that I think have, you know, some sort of potential. And if I'm really, if I think it's a really good coin, I might put in a few more Solana. Like Mbappe, I put in a few Solana or at lock in, I put in a few Solana because, you know, I think it has I, I was had more conviction in them. I thought they had actually better upside than the daily ones. Obviously, you can size up when you think that there's less risk or if you think that there's a lot more upside potential. Um, but, you know, sizing when it comes to meme coins is difficult. Like, it kind of depends how many meme coins you want to buy. Some people have a strategy where they'll just buy one meme coin a week or one meme coin a month. And if you're doing that, you might, like, spend a lot of time researching and waiting and waiting until there's the perfect meme coin. And that's a, a really good strategy. Like, make sure the socials are good. doesn't matter if you don't get in the very first person, but make sure it's popping off on Twitter. It's going to have a lot of future attention. People are talking about it a lot. It has a lot of influencers backing it. And at that point, you can be comfortable enough. It's already at a few, like, say, 10 million market cap. You can be comfortable buying into that with a bit more size because you think, okay, this is kind of looks like it's just starting a run. 
it's going to have some future attention. It's a meme that has been very trending and very viral for a while. And I think it's going to continue getting even more viral, this meme, this image, this phrase that people have been using, whatever, this news story or this future, like an election that's coming up, like the American elections coming up in September or something. I'll buy the, like for me, I bought the vice president, the best vice president or the most likely to buy, be vice president of Donald Trump. I bought those coins because, you know, that has potential upside because we've seen how much Trump has done. When it comes to taking profits, this is a bit more tricky. So if you bought into a short term play and it's just something that you think is going to have a narrative for a couple of days, at that point, that's fine. It'd take your multiple and get in and get out, take your 2x to it take it 3x whatever or if it goes down just sell it all or whatever but when it comes to those longer term conviction bets where you think oh this could become one of those bigger meme coins if you're buying like uh, all the meme coins i'm kind of talking about here are, you know very very low market cap so when it comes to these ones that you think have massive massive upside potential it's fine to take some profits along the way. If you are, if you do get like a 10x, you can take out 20% or something. And then if it goes another 2x, you can take out another 20%. But one thing I would stress if you do have, if you do think it is a very good meme, like don't sell it for a 50% gain. Don't sell all of it. Always, always keep a moon bag if it is one of these longer conviction bets. And even if it goes down after you buy it, which happens a lot, sometimes it's good to just leave it. Okay, I lost a hundred dollars or i'm down like fifty dollars on it but sometimes these things can come back so when it comes to these higher conviction bets these kind of long-term plays i generally would just be wary of selling the whole thing at any point unless it just goes unless like you've made a million dollars or something and you want to buy a house obviously that's not really relevant to this but <laughs> there's been so many times and there's been so many times where i've sold the entire bag of something that i actually thought was a really funny meme and just sold it way 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 too early so when it comes to these higher conviction bets you can just sell slowly over time as it goes up or if it if it's going sideways and you need liquidity to invest in something else then you can sell half of it or something you know other quick tips i would say is check check the distribution you can see this on jupiter if like if the top three holders own like 40 percent of the supply obviously that's a red flag uh, another good thing another good strategy that you can use is if a coin gets rogued right uh, or the dev just sells all the sells all their coins deletes the telegram deletes twitter and just fecks off with you know the couple of grand he made a lot of the times if people band together if this happens to you or you see people in the telegram chat of the coin saying that they're going to do a community takeover and they seem like they're actually really serious about it that can be like one of the best entries you'll ever get on a meme coin because sometimes the community take over like they're so much better than the actual devs or the founders or whatever and they just make a twitter and because they're invested in it, they lost money they're really trying to work on reclaiming their bags so they'll make a lot of content make a lot of noise shill it all over twitter and if you are lucky enough to be a part of a community takeover like that's where you can make really, really massive returns because a lot of the time you'll be buying at a really, really low base. So it's, it's essentially like being able to make a coin yourself. Now, if you don't, now if you do want to be buying meme coins on Solana, I recommend using a bot because doing it directly on Jupiter or doing it directly on Radium, particularly on Radium or something, that can be a nightmare, especially with slippage and all of that stuff. So. The bot I recommend is Trojan Bot, and I'll leave my referral code in the description, um, and you'll get like fifteen percent off your fees or something like that if you use my link. Uh, but that means you can just all the time track what you're invested in on your phone and buy or buy or sell those meme coins on the go. So that's just handy if you're kind of like me and you have a lot of different memes that you're tracking at one particular time that you're hoping for a hundred x on. All right, if you want, please hop into my Telegram, introduce yourself, be happy to see some of you guys in there, and yeah, be happy to talk to you, and I generally, like, every time I make a trade, I will put it into that group chat. Do not tell me blindly, because, as I said, most of the stuff I go, that I invest in, goes down, or it doesn't go anywhere, or goes to zero. I don't, I, I don't really buy rugs, but, you know, when you're trading really low market cap Solana meme coins, 
it's extremely, extremely risky. But I do share my own thesis because, you know, uh, I'm still a small creator and I want to help everyone. I want to share my strategies. And it's not like a lot of the time I'm not trying to dump on anyone in my group chat. Like I'm tr- usually going for these like longer term plays. However, I would will say also like I'm potentially going to sell this within a day i will say that if i do plan on doing that so yeah i really hope this video gives you an understanding and you can absolutely smash the solana meme coin markets like we have been doing because you know personally i i find it really really fun and it's actually one of the like it's one of the things that i i trade the best is meme coins and nfts the most redacted stuff i'm not a super genius when it comes to DeFi. I'm not a super genius when it comes to a lot of things, but being able to recognize culture, being able to recognize memes, that's actually the most profitable strategy in crypto, believe it or not, being the being the biggest artist in the room. <laughs> so yeah, that's me. <laughs> and potentially that's you too. So so thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.